folks, Jim Ball here at the beautiful Oyster Farm in Kings Creek in Cape Charles, Virginia. They are back, the Mid-Atlantic Rockfish Shootout, here with an awesome tournament. Stay tuned, we'll tell you all about it. Hi folks, Jim Baugh here, and it's that time of year, the holiday season, and in Virginia, that means rockfish season. This year, the Mid-Atlantic Rockfish Shootout again was held at our beautiful home base port of Marina, the Oyster Farm in Cape Charles. The captain's meeting this year was a bit different. Like most things during 2020, the pandemic certainly changed how we do things a bit. One thing the tourney did this year was really pretty cool and added some convenience to the anglers was to hold the captain's meeting online. This way the anglers could come collect their tourney goods at the oyster farm over a period of time while easily maintaining social distancing. This is also done during the awards using Facebook Live. This is a three day tourney and the first day immediately yielded nice rockfish. Due to regulations, the rock fishing this year, there was a slot limit from 20 to 36 inches. Anything over 36 inches would need to be released. Now during the same three day tournament, well, the big fish did show up. Anglers in the Chesapeake Bay caught and released rockfish weighing from 40 to over 54 pounds. Incredible, awesome fish. Now let's drop in on the way in for day one of Rockfish Shootout. All right. Turn on the big, but they're fine. And then we'll, um, we'll do the sweet, but like, okay. So, 27.1. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 that's probably that one. 27.1. Five, Could be two, right in the middle of the yeah. Of course, I caught that one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Way to go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice haul. First weight for the tournament. That's good. And a free Christmas tree. A free tree, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Christmas. I only here with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Mike. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Christmas tree, Jack. <laughs> if you gonna dump it, dump it there. Heads up. Nine point five five. All right, we're gonna right. measure. We yep. measure the smallest one here. Let's see here. Uh -oh. All right. Got the bag. There they are. All right. Hey, Mike. Did you? Hey, Mike. Did you look at that last? Awesome. How did you pass? Oh, my God. Give me a city. Nice. Official weight 26. All right. Very nice. I guess the fish are more important. She's a much better looking photographer. Definitely. <laughs> Five. Eighteen oh five. All right. Good day. Updating the board. That Such a nice hand right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I mean, I don't think you want to take a picture of the fish. Yeah, ready? One, two, Eight. three. It's a beautiful early morning call at the Oyster Farm on board the Top Dog, captained by Neil Lassard. We had a great crew that was very enthusiastic about today's fishing trip. These folks were ready to win this event. All of the baits were artificial lures, a lot of plastic shads and umbrella rigs. These people put on a ton of bait in the water. And the reason for using these type of fishing baits, well, it's because the crew is targeting a certain class of rockfish, hopefully in the 20 to 36 inch range. This technique did work. 
Once Captain Neil got into position and it was time for the lines in, we had fish on pretty much non-stop for the first four or five hours. Singles, doubles, triples, even quads. Loads of fish. How much leader is that? How long is that leader? Uh, I do like three and a half, three and a half pulls. Um, some people like to hook the sinker right above the umbrella rig, which makes it convenient for, uh, you know, when you have a fish on, yeah. get it back out real quick, not having a lot of loose leader, but I like leadering the fish, so I keep my leaders somewhat long. Yeah. And what pound test is the lead? Uh, the leaders are 60 pound test on the leader. All right. Rhino, and the uh, braid is 80, 80 pound braid on the reel. Day two. Official wear. Yeah. I think that's the big one. Bizarre yeah. weighs yeah. in a combined weight of, I'm guessing, 18 pounds. <laughs> you have to think you're wrong. Uh, it might be an 18.5. I say 19. <laughs> I say. Boca says 19. Eight. What is 89? Uh, 89. Yeah, 89. Oh! That's okay. Yeah, move it. Hey, right Wait, hold on, hold on. This is what the monkey forgot about. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's 19, that was your 19! <laughs> that don't count. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 16.05. 
Beautiful. Yeah, you can leave it in there, it's fine. Yeah, this one's five, so you leave 20. 20.25. Oh, peaky peaky. Very nice. Eighteen point four. Eighteen point four. Wow. That's a little over yesterday. Eighteen point four. Wow, first way in, third day. Yeah. Wow. Y'all did great. What was the total weight? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine twenty. Fantastic. Woo. All right, here, take a picture. Hey, last stop. Mike, take a picture for us. Mike. Come on up here. Let's get right in between these signs right here, boys. Come on. Or you don't get the money. It goes to the house. Wow. Beautiful. Woo. Nice. Good job. All right. Yeah, we're going 18 up there. 18-6. 18-6. Very nice. Sorry. <laughs> Way to go. I need a big 20. Uh-oh. This one's heavier than that one. 20.25. No, no. It's going to be bigger than that. 22. 22. 22. 22. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Fifth place. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. Just a few fish. Wow. Top dog. Moving down. Had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Jimball Outdoors TV would like to congratulate all the anglers of the Mystic Lady who swept first, second, and third place in the 18th annual Mid-Atlantic Rockfish Shootout. They even won all the Calcuttas, plus first and second place for single biggest fish. What a great win! This team took well over $42,000 in prize money. Congratulations to all the teams and to the shootout for putting on another excellent tourney. Fantastic event and of course to the oyster farm for hosting this rockfish tourney. You just can't beat the facility or the location. Book your next trip to the shore soon.